So, Norm Rosen with RV Lifestyle Magazine, and I'm with Karen Torcoletti from Road Trek Inc. in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And not only is uh, Karen volunteering to be my stunt driver today, uh, Karen is one of the top lady executives in the RV industry and uh, recognized throughout North America and the world. Oh, thanks. No. So uh, that was, well, that was last year. What are you going to do to to exceed that this year? <laughs> it's hard to top that. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, today, today we're rolling along uh, some of the back roads in the uh, Cambridge, Ontario area. And it is just a glorious day. And we're driving, we're driving the brand new Road Trek Zion Slumber model. Now this is a, a V6 gas powered uh, motorhome uh, on a uh, the Promaster chassis, uh, 3.6 liters. It's got a lot of pep. It really does. And uh, has an excellent reputation as a very fuel efficient motorhome chassis easy to drive. Yeah, I can definitely speak to that. I'm not one who usually likes to drive uh, large vehicles. I always had small vehicles, but this, you don't even feel like you're in a, a large vehicle. It's like a minivan. It's so easy. And mm -hmm. it fits in a parking spot, which I love because I hate parking. So if I can drive this, anyone can drive this. Uh-huh. And uh, this is, uh, well, I, I guess one of the most uh, uh, revolutionary of the new road trek models. Uh, the other 2021s are essentially refinements on the previous models, which of course are the most popular Class B motorhomes in the industry. Yeah, we have a couple of new ones um, called the Chase and the Play, which are twin bed um, mm -hmm. floor plans in the back. Um, the Chase has a frilly sleep system. They both have an adjustable headrest in the back. So we really went for the comfort and the sleeping and sitting area back there. Um, but the rest of the coach from kind of the, the Galley 4 is all the same as what you'd find in a regular Zion. So our you know most popular model in the Promaster is a Zion and we kept everything that our owners love about it and we just added the twin beds that people have been asking for for a while. Yeah, now uh, as I was reviewing the various configurations that are available on this particular road trek uh, Zion slumber model, yeah. uh, this comes with the option of a, uh, a king size bed, yep. it comes with the option of twin beds, and it also has an optional rear sofa bed, uh, a sleeper bed, yep. in the back. Uh, but what makes this an outstanding and, and really quite unique vehicle in the North American market is the fact that you have a pop top. We have a pop top. Yes. And and is this is this something that could be inspired perhaps? by the uh, the Westphalia division of Group Rapido? Absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt that the pop tops have been around in North America for a little while, um, and they are huge among families. So this vehicle now, the Zion Slumber, can seat and sleep five people. So you can have a family of five in this coach easily and comfortably, and you're not on top of each other. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and one thing that I found really interesting is you have an optional, an optional bunk that uh, that fits right across the two front seats. Right where you and I are sitting right now. It's a single person. Great for a, a small child, small kid, teenager type of thing. Yeah, because yeah, perfect. It, you'd have you'd have what about uh, maybe five feet? Yeah. Uh, between the two doors. Yeah, about that. It's just a, a, a little fold away cushion that um, you put a sleeping bag on a pillow and it's really quite nice. Yeah. So if there's a basketball player in the family, the basketball player is probably going to go upstairs in, yeah. in the pop top. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, or uh, well, on the uh, on the rear bed. Uh, as we're driving, uh, now we're we're doing uh, oh 45, 50 kilometers more or less on a nice windy country road. Yeah. Uh, and there's there's like no rattling. No, it's nice and quiet. Isn't it's it? it's. Very quiet by comparison with the the typical motorhomes that we take out. Uh, it, it's it's almost silent. Just our voices. 
ignore just our voices. Essentially just the voices. <laughs> uh, it's a really nice, smooth ride. It really is, yeah. uh, the Promaster, of course, is a, uh, a very popular chassis within the uh, Class B motorhome sector. Yeah. Uh, and this, uh, well, it, you know, realistically, uh, some people say, well, you know, look at a Class B or a Class C motorhome, look at a diesel chassis. But for all intents and purposes, uh, the fuel efficiency and the cost of maintaining a gas chassis uh, up to the first 200, 250,000 miles, yeah. uh, the gas chassis is uh, essentially a, a uh, more economical vehicle to operate. Yeah, there's no denying, you know, obviously there are people that do love the, the Sprinters, but the popularity of the Promaster is why we continue to build on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, this being uh, essentially the first of the 2021 models, uh, these are, uh, they're being produced, of course, in the plant. We're, we're recording this um, uh, middle of October yep. uh, 2020. Uh, these are vehicles that are, uh, I would expect, uh, being produced in the plant at the moment, uh, being shipped to your dealers. Uh, realistically, what would the lead time be? For a customer who wanted to order one of these from one of the road trek dealers in North America, are they looking at uh, a matter of weeks, a matter of months for delivery? So we haven't started manufacturing them yet, um, but it is about a 90 to 120 day lead time right now if, mm -hmm. a, if an order is placed. Uh huh. And. She'll have to wait too long. A little bit, but not too long. Well, yeah, you know, but winter's coming up and yeah. with the borders closed, you can't go all that far. Yeah, exactly. So if you were to place an order in the next few weeks or next couple of months, you're essentially looking for a vehicle look at, that uh, that you can have in your hands in the spring. Exactly. That's what we are hoping for, to get it in the hands for the RV season in 2021. Yeah, and yeah. This, this is ideal. Now, of course, the other road trek models yeah. uh, are already on the dealer lots they and are. available so it's only this brand new slumber that would have a lead time like that's that. correct that's correct yeah excellent so we're going to uh we're going to uh, do our photo shoot uh for the uh, autumn issue of rv lifestyle magazine and uh the video of course will will be up on our youtube channel perfect which is uh, youtube.com slash RV Lifestyle Magazine. Of course, if you're watching this video, you're already there. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there are, uh, we'll put links to the Road Trek uh, corporate website yep. where you have uh, quite a number of other videos and, of course, all of the floor plans, the, uh, the uh, interior photography. Uh, and the full specifications on the unit. Yep, www.roadtrek.com. It's all there for all of anyone who wants to go take a look. Excellent. Okay, so let's let's just look at the beautiful, beautiful scenery. This is autumn leaves in the heart of Ontario, and uh, it's it's just a beautiful day to be out driving. It is a gorgeous day. Isn't, isn't it amazing to think that? You know, for all intents and purposes, for us, this is essentially work. I know. You can't beat this, Norm. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you can't. You can't beat this. If you're this. jealous, I'm sorry, but you can't this is beat a it, Karen. Day. I'm telling you, you, you just can't beat it. Uh, and, and if we could get across the border, you know, it, it would be Florida in a matter of, you know, 18 or 20 hours on the oh, road. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, sure. you know, we're not going to Florida today. We're not going to Florida now. No, no. We're okay. Staying in beautiful Ontario. Thank you.